Assalamu alaikum welcome to Times of Ummah today's first news update is coming from Bangladesh where at least 10 people have been killed in violent protests in Bangladesh against Modi participation in Bangladesh National Independence Day dozens of people have been also reported injured with the violent clashes between police and demonstrators according to Al Jazeera the attackers also attacked on Hindu temples and a train in the eastern Bangladesh the protesters are mostly from Hifazati Islam group and they have been seen to angry through out the whole country at the visit of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi the protesters accused him of stoking communal violence against the muslims in india like they said over 1000 muslims were killed in gujarat when modi was chief minister and also the bangladesh people have some concerns about the laws that modi passed they said the hindu nationalist leader modi targeted muslims minority on his controversial laws that passed from assembly there we were the protesters made historic insult of narendra modi when they took their shoes and their hands and welcome indian prime minister with their shoes according to new reports 10 people have been killed and police use rubber bullets and tear gas to demonstrators so it caused dozens injured the protesters here also attacked on a train according to police officials they attacked the train and damaged its engine and almost all the coaches the viewers modi was to attend the 50th independence day of bangladesh but he was not thinking that people can hit him throughout the country and that caused huge violent attack including a large number of injuries the protesters here also called on the authorities to investigate the police shooting because they accused police firing on peaceful protesters The second news update is coming from Myanmar where deaths from anti-military coup in Myanmar surpasses 462 and hundreds have been wounded. The deadly protests are still continuing by the Myanmar people despite harsh violence from military. New reports said 462 people have been killed and the number of deaths are drastically increasing throughout the whole country. The civilian leaders and officials are still in the military detention and the protesters are coming to roads and streets for releasing them from jails. But the military is not ready to free them despite they face sanctions from all over the world the coup comes after Aung San Suu Kyi's historic victory in elections the military take over the country because they thought our rule inside the government is being more weak and the democratic leaders becoming heroes of civilian The third news update is coming from United States where the United States intelligence agencies warns by the administration about the possible takeover of Taliban and Afghan government. According to agencies, the Taliban could overrun most of Afghanistan within two to three years if United States troops leave Afghanistan before a power sharing deal is reached between the varying sides. Joe Biden is deciding whether to pull out United States forces before deadline or remain in Afghanistan because this is a tough time for Biden and the Biden administration and the Biden administration took too much time to decide or bring a new policy about Afghanistan but Biden has said it is hard to comply with the first May deadline which also required the departure of 7000 allied forces Biden also said I have no intentions to hold US troops in Afghanistan for a long time we will withdraw but the question is when dear viewers if you want top news up each day please subscribe times up ummah